On this episode of Proton Pack Detective, we'll be putting the Stance Hero Pack under the magnifying glass. The Proton Pack is not a toy. This is the second in a series of videos spotlighting individual Proton Packs from Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. If you haven't yet checked out the Spingler Hero Pack episode, I'll link it in the description. As I said, today's focus is on the Stance Hero Pack from Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2, primarily used by Dan Aykroyd. In the first film, we got some good looks of the pack from multiple angles in the hotel and on the rooftop. The first thing we'll notice that everyone talks about is the two power cell ribs with light shining through, easily seen in the Sedgwick hallway. For a time in the hotel, the bellows of the shock mount is bent upwards. On the rooftop, the zip tie holding the loom into the thrower handle stands out. On the opposite side of the pack, we see the motherboard foam along the top edge that is cut straight along the bottom. It appears the masking tape with Dan's name on it is below the charging plate, as seen when he opens fire on Slimer. A careful eye will also notice that the straps on this pack are reversed. Note that while the quick release is on the name patch side for Spingler, Vinkman, and Zedmore, the stance has the quick release on the no-ghost patch side of the uniform. Where the other straps have stitching that tapers down and inward, Ray's tapers outward or just appears flat. Some of these details show up on the same pack in Ghostbusters 2, most clearly in the courtroom scene. To see more of the smaller details, let's take a look at the pack as it exists today. It's been in a private collector's possession in the UK for about a dozen years, so pictures aren't as plentiful as the Spingler and Venkman heroes, but the pictures we do have are of high quality. Compared to the Spingler hero, the Stance hero is in great shape considering its age, still having the end filter and crank knob that are missing on Egon's pack. A few other details separate this pack from the Spingler. The brace between the ion arm and booster tube is a vertical rod, the elbows on the HGA are mounted evenly, and the beamline clippered elbow doesn't have an extra hole. Like the Spingler, the clippered valves are both R701s. The thrower's logo is down, and the PAX logo is up, both opposite of the Spingler. Looking at the cyclotron rings, the top right ring stands out as off-centered. On the thrower, the trigger box instrument bar is mounted crooked. In current condition, the clear tube isn't permanently secured inside the thrower, and the white hat light is either missing or rattling around inside the gun box. While it was modified for use in Ghostbusters 2, it maintained the original placement of the clippered elbow on the ion arm end cap, and it has three Generation 1 Legris or Legri elbows. The three resistors on the ion arm all give character to this pack. The Dale PH25 which appears on all the packs, is glued in place on the Stance Hero. The other two resistors are exclusive to this pack. The small resistor is the DeLome RH25 with no logo, and the long resistor is the DeLome RH50, again with no logo. This pack is a popular one to replicate for builders, being a hero pack and having so many unique details. If I've missed one of your favorite details, please mention it in the comments. I'm still learning new things about these packs all the time. I'm just trying to consolidate it all in one place so we can all have it available to us on our builds. If you've got a request for the next pack we feature, put it in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and happy building!